All right, well, what we're going to do now is we're going to make some water kimchi. The main two ingredients in here are going to be these baby mook or baby radishes and this baby Napa cabbage. Anyway, let me wash these up and uh, we'll cut, get to it here in a minute. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take our baby radishes and we're going to tear our tops into pieces about that long. Basically, tear my tops into three pieces. Now, I'll take the bot, take the the roots here, and I want to scrape them with my knife. I want to cut the ends off of them. And rinse them off one more time. Okay, so now I've got these baby Napa cabbage. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna cut this end off. I'm gonna wash these real good. Then I'm just gonna tear it into the bite sized pieces. Alright, now I got my baby Napa. I got it all washed, tore into pieces. I've got my little radishes cleaned up, looking good. I put them in there. Now I got some kosher salt. You can use any salt that doesn't have iodine. Anytime you make kimchi, no iodine in your salt. Iodine's a disinfectant, will kill bacteria, and we want bacteria. But we just want the right kind. Alright. Yeah, we'll let this set. We'll come back about half an hour or so and we'll mix it up again. All right, we're getting close to an hour now. Our uh, stuff's getting a lot smaller. I have a green one of these green onions that has this kind on it. I trimmed it up, cleaned it. So now it's cut it into pieces, about an inch long, three quarters, something like that. I've got some chives. I've cleaned these up, cut the roots off of them. Took out all the dead stuff. We'll take this piece of onion, we'll just cut it in half. Throw it in there. I got two big old fat jalapenos. Throw them in there. Nice piece of ginger. Got three cloves of garlic. Got an apple. You can use a pear. Pear is probably more traditional. A quarter of this. Oh, still left a sticker on there. Yeah, we'll cut that off. Now.
we're going to do is we're going to rinse this, most of the salt, not all of it, we're just going to give us our greens, we're going to, and turnips, we're going to give these radishes, we'll give them a little rinse. All right, now I'll mix up my brine solution. I got one tablespoon of salt. Oh, I got eight cups of water in here. One tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar. I'm just gonna stir this up and dissolve the salt and sugar. All right, now we're gonna pour brine over our kimchi. There we go. In about two to three days, it'll be ready. All right, here's our water kimchi, our mool kimchi, after two days. Now, what I did yesterday is I stirred it up, kind of turned my greens over. It was on the top, I put on the bottom, then I tasted my water, and it needed a little bit more salt, so I did put one more tablespoon of salt. So when you make your brine, you could do about two tablespoons. And I needed to, I had to add just a little bit more water in here because the water level had dropped. Something in there was soaking it up. So anyway, there it is. Let's give it a, let's give my water a little taste. Okay, that's good. It's not salty. So if you want it salty, you need to put even more salt. I think it's just fine, right the way it is.